Taking the plunge into Lake Decatur to fundraise for Special Olympic athletes was on the agenda for many today. WND's Megan O'Dell checked out the scene at the 13th annual Polar Plunge. Hi, Megan. Hi, Bridget. You couldn't have picked a better day to plunge into Lake Decatur to raise money for the Special Olympics annual Polar Plunge in the 13th year. Over 500 participants plunge for a purpose. The theme? We're freezing for a reason. The conditions? Oh, the water was cold. And the cause? Uh, it, it's a great cause. Supporting the local Special Olympics by taking the plunge at this year's 13th annual Polar Plunge. More than 500 participated in one of the largest grossing fundraisers for the Decatur Area Special Olympics. The only requirement? To raise a minimum of $75, and many exceeded that amount. Let's go plunging. Many have raised over $1,000, well over $1,000. Some have raised multiple thousands of dollars for this event for our athletes. Brad Stewart shared the purpose behind his plunge. I have a special needs nephew, his name is Tyler, and he's deaf and autistic, and he has received help from Special Olympics. May it be for a specific person or not, many plungers took to Lake Decatur with their designated teams. It's on my bucket list. I've always wanted to jump in cold water. Like, that may be crazy. Pets and even a beauty queen braved the chilly water, including a few familiar faces from WAND News. Let's go to the pores. And an award-winning Special Olympics athlete even made time for us. I'm a swimmer. Yeah. First place? I first go with the basketball. But when asked if he would show off his skills today. Uh, no, it's too cold. But not too cold for the community to take the plunge for kids like Bobby Coleman. And we just got the numbers in from the event director, Joni Keys. They raised over $81,000 this year. I'm Megan O'Dell for WAND News. Well, thanks, Megan.